So in one of my previous videos, I spoke about having an issue with Jarvis, especially with his GUI, that if I want to run it in the command line, it just crashes, it freezes. I actually haven't had any luck trying to get it to work. So at the end of that video, I asked the community if they have any ideas and someone recently posted this idea right here, which is to use OpenAI's chat GPT. So I figured what the heck, let's try it. Let's use an evening and see what happens. And boy, did I go on an adventure down the rabbit hole. If you're not familiar with OpenAI, they are a company that is creating a natural language chatbot, trying to do artificial intelligence. You just go to openai.com. Towards the top, there's a, a link for chat GPT research release. You could try it. You have to sign up for an account. Once you sign up for the account, it takes you to this kind of GUI here where it has some examples. You can type in different questions. You can, you can use it for generating code. You can use it for generating ideas, for writing scripts, for writing articles. There's a lot you can do with it, but it's not perfect. So first thing I did is copy all of Jarvis's code and put it in, which just was too much. It couldn't, it's too big for it to check and read. I wasn't expecting a miracle right off the bat. Next thing I did was ask various questions of what's some code that I can use to animate a GIF in Pygame. It came out with various answers. Now granted, the cool thing about this is that it remembers what you previously talked about. It's like a continuous conversation you're having with it. So when you say that code doesn't work, it knows you're talking about the code it previously gave you to try. Next thing I asked was animate a GIF in Pygame that won't crash when run in the command line of Windows. This one it came up with using adding pygame.sdl2 to the program I previously suggested. It talked about this is supposed to assist with freezing in Windows and issues like that. Though is when I went to actually pip install this driver, it's not around. I checked PyPy, I checked all kinds of things. It was helpful. I asked it, what if I can't find this driver? And it came up with three possible solutions. One of them is pip this, one is type this code here. I tried all kinds of things. I'm not finding it. So that one was kind of a bust. I did use one of the previous suggested codes and it's supposed to run, generate the GIF and it doesn't. It just sits there and shows the image, one frame of the image. So then I modified and played with the code a little bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. Couldn't get it to work how I wanted to, so I copy and pasted that code into my response and asked it what's wrong with this code, where it then generated something else and some other options. It's not quite giving the best ideas, but then it gave me another idea of using the pillow library and actually created the code for that. That came up with its own error, something I have never seen before. I spent some time Googling this. A few moments later. Trying to find out what's wrong with this. So I copy and pasted it back in and said, what's wrong with it? And to its credit, it actually said, oops, here's a solution. With a little copy, paste, some editing, I actually got it to work. This generates a GIF that I can run in the command line. So I thought, great, this is one step closer to the issue I'm having. You can move the window around. But then once I decided to tie everything into Jarvis, Welcome back, sir. then I got it to freeze again, where it came back to the same issues of being non-responsive. But after multiple attempts, multiple questions, all this back and forth and trying it multiple times, and after modifying and messing with threading multiple different ways and going back and forth with this a few times, I told it, I want to break things now. Where it was very helpful in telling me that it understands that it's frustrating for everything that it did. It did give me a nice polite solution to not breaking something. I will get this to work somehow, even if I have to rewrite the entire code again. Three days later. After a few days, I came across a random posting on Stack Overflow. It was an older posting with some of the answers I thought I'd seen before, but towards the bottom, I noticed a line that stuck out to me. So I looked into it and found this one sentence right here. I've looked at this page multiple times trying to find an idea and I must have skipped this. So I added this one line to the display function of Jarvis, and then I reorganized the threads. And 
Jarvis system at 100%. Holy shit. It worked. The display now runs regardless of if I open other windows. I can play music. I can watch videos. I can really do anything I want with it right now. This means I can now have the talking portion of Jarvis start up when I start the PC or turn on at specific times of the day. Really, it's whenever I want it to. This opens up the opportunity to create some more really interesting projects with them. I did want to give chat GPT another try, but every time I tried to access the service, I was met with a screen saying their servers were at capacity. Now they have various sayings talking about trying again or that they are trying to increase their capabilities. It does show that more and more people are trying out this service. For me, I think it did help lead me onto the right road even if that road was extremely curvy and a little frustrating. If you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. If you thought this was a waste of time and boring, give it a thumbs down. And until next time, thanks. Bye.